In this video, we're going to talk about sun path, shadows, and show rendering down here in our view control bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is sun path. What sun path does is it shows you where the sun is and visually where the shadows will be. So I'm going to left click on it and turn on. You have two options. The first one is you get to choose whatever time and date that you want to see the shadows. And the second one is if you set a current time or date, uh, it will use those. So in this case, I'm going to choose the first one, and you will see this appear. So I'm going to use my cube up here to turn it. But this is showing you north, south, east, and west. And up here, the ball is representing the sun, and this is its daily pitch. This is the route it is taking on the daily basis. So you can see here it starts off at 5.48 p.m. and it'll go to 5.48 a.m. and currently it is set for September 18th. If I left click on this date, I can now change the date. So let's say I want to see my house on October 11th. I can select that and it's going to change the location of the sun. So this works with the second button, hand in hand, called Shadows. I'm going to click on that and turn it on. What you can see here is now it is showing, as I move my cube around, it's showing where the shadows will lie with the sun being at the current location on that particular day. So if I left click and hold, I can move my sun to a new time. So if I want to see it at, let's say, 9 a.m., I can see that my shadows have changed. So if I'm going to move it back, I want to see what it's going to be at 345. Now you can see visually that the shadows are changed, and I have this massive shadow back here. So one thing that you can do is once you have windows, and if you're trying to do a lot of natural light in your structure, whether it be residential or commercial, you can visually see what kind of shadows you're going to have for depending on the day and depending on the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off those shadows and I'm going to turn off the sun path. So the next thing, the third one that we're going to talk about is right here called show rendering. So I'm going to click on there and basically all it's doing is it's going to show you a rendering with the shadows so it's showing you as realistically as it can including the sun so I'm gonna go to high and there's a couple other options here we don't really need to go through them but as far as lighting you can choose any of these options I'm gonna do exterior um, sun only and then I'm gonna click render so it's gonna take a little bit to render but visually what it's going to show you is the best it can as far as the sun being in its current location, what kind of shadows you're going to have on the exterior and on the interior. Okay, so we did a little bit of a fast forward here, um, but as you can see, this is the rendering uh, with the sun being on the outside and you can see the shadows, you can see the shadow here being created by this interior wall. Um, so you can get these very detailed renderings of what your house or structure is going to look like. So as a review, we talked about sun path, we also talked about shadows, and show rendering here in our view control bar.